ATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back and welcome to the weekend. The weekend is going to start off kind of like today, but finish off with better rain chances Sunday. Plan on the typical splash and dash stuff tomorrow, late morning, early to mid afternoon. Sunday, the onset of rain chances may be sooner and they may last for a good part of the day, but on and off activity, the weekend won't be a washout. So you do have some time to clean up after our tropical storm slash hurricane Barry, and hopefully you're getting back to normal as soon as possible. I know for some, it will take a while. Here's the weather shot coming from Justin Taro downtown looking toward the federal courthouse. Pretty day out there before the showers really started to kick in. This is what we call fair weather cumulus clouds, but you'll notice you get to about 10 30 or 11. You start to see them growing up vertically, and if you see the tops are sharp, this is one tool a, a meteorologist in Houston taught me. If you see the cauliflower look really sharp, plan on some pretty good thunderstorms and maybe even some uh, gusty wind and uh, some torrential downpours as well. So that's what we had today. So let's kick it upstairs. What's going on? Well, deeper tropical moisture starting to move in from the east. You can see the showers and storms across uh, portions of Mississippi, Alabama into uh, uh, Georgia and even Florida. That's been sliding eastward, westward rather, and that helped to uh, spark off scattered showers today. It did it yesterday, to yesterday 20, 30 percent, today 30 to 40 percent, and tomorrow 30 to 40 percent again, but on Sunday we'll go 60%. Most of the showers are pretty much over with and are diminishing. A few light sprinkles out there. The last vestiges of a rumble of thunder right around the Doosan area continues to slowly diminish, but still producing some locally uh, localized downpours right around the Doosan exit on I-10 and right along uh, Cameron Street uh, Highway 90 as we get into the western part of Lafayette Parish, eastern portions of Acadia Parish. More of the same expected for tomorrow. Should be quiet overnight tonight, uh, fair, warm and humid, almost a full moon out there. And then tomorrow we'll start off fair to partly cloudy, but the clouds build on. And then into the afternoon, I think we're going to see more than what Futurecast is indicating, at least a scattering of showers and thunder showers with rain chance in the 30 to 40 percent range tomorrow. Notice there'll be a little bit more activity off to the east. We get into Sunday, the model gripping onto uh, that better rain chance. It doesn't look like much, but we're going to go 60 percent on Sunday. And again, not expecting any big heavy rainfalls, but you get caught in a thunderstorm like some folks today in Western Lafayette perished. Uh, you'll probably catch a couple of inches of rain. So that's the way it works with summertime thunderstorms. Not everybody gets it, though. So here is the way it looks on the European model for tomorrow. You can see activity kind of scattered in nature, a little bit more concentrated off to the east. We get into Sunday. We certainly see a change with a lot more green across the area. So a good scattering of showers and storms moving from the south to the north. And then we get into Monday, much the same. And lo and behold, a very unusual event for late July, a cool front on the way. Now that front is not going to bring super cool air, but it's certainly going to uh, enhance rain chances likely through Tuesday. And then we get into Wednesday and that front lingers offshore. We might grab a couple of days of just cloudy skies, slight rain chances and temperatures much more comfortable than what we're used to staying in the 80s. And that's going to be a good part of next week. Eventually what goes down has to come back up in the frontal world out in the Gulf of Mexico. A European model suggesting a little bit of what we call a vorticity max or disturbance along that front, but pressures are going to be high, so we're not expecting any tropical development, but we couldn't see enhanced rain chances come Friday and then back to normal for the following weekend. 76 the low tonight, typical July night ahead tomorrow, 90 or 91 the high with your rain chance at about 40%, very light south winds. And as we move into Sunday, rain chances up to about 60% uh, for Sunday at any time during the day, 50 to 60%, maybe even 70% through Tuesday and then look Look at those temperatures. I can't remember forecasting a week, any week in the summer <laughs> uh, where we see temperatures below 90 for a six or seven day period. And that's just what we have coming up. So a little bit of a break from that high heat and humidity. And we will take it. Okay. Thank you, Rob.